you have to be a servant. You have to be the servant of the living God. No matter the miracles you may be performing, you are just a servant. You have to be a servant of God. Jesus came in the humble way. The Bible says in First John, uh, in John 1, verse 14, it says that the word became fresh. As he was a fresh, he said that I'm just a servant of my father. So you have to be a servant. There are things which can only happen for the servant. The angel came and told Mary that you conceive and have a child by the name of Emmanuel. Then Mary said, how can, how can it be because I'm a virgin? Then the angel said, the Holy Spirit shall come upon you and you shall conceive. Then Mary said, let it be so because I'm a servant of the living God. So if you're a real servant of the living God, in every situation you have to say, let it be so. You have to say, Amen. In body situation, you have to say, let it be so. Do not cry. You have to say, let it be so. You do not have food. Let's say, let it be so. Because you are the, the servant of the living God. You need to be a servant. There are things, there are some miracles can only happen if you are a servant of God. That's the reason why John 3, Nicodemus followed Jesus at night and said that what can a person do for them to perform what you, you do perform? Then Jesus said, for them to perform, they need to be servant by being born again. So you need to be a servant. Hebrews 1 verse 7, the Bible said that God made the angels to be wind and the servant to be flames, the angels to be air and the servant to be fire. So if you are a servant, you are a fire. If you are a servant, you are untouchable. If you are a servant, then you go forward. Amos 3 verse 7, the Bible said that God does nothing minus reviewing his things unto a servant. So if you are not a servant, you are just a church goer. If you are not the servant, you are just a gossiper. If you are not a servant, you are just any Christian, then there are some things which cannot happen in your life. Be the servant of the living God. Then good things will happen upon your life. Be the servant like Samuel, First Samuel 3. The Bible talks about the, the story of the Samuel was, as he was a boy in the church at Shiloh. The Bible said that uh, the Lord appeared to him and he called to him Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel ran to Eli. Second time he did the same. Then Eli realized that it was God who was calling Samuel. So if you have got somebody to realize on your behalf, then you are going to be a servant. Then he told him that when he calls at this time Say that the Lord, I'm your servant. Here is your servant. Speak. And when he said that, the Lord perceived that this person has recognized that he's a servant. The Lord spoke. So you need to be a servant of the living God so that you may do greater things than what he did. The Bible says in John 14 verse 12 that you shall do greater things than what I did. So you need to be a servant wherever you are. Man of God, woman of God, be a servant. Do not be a boss. You are called as a servant. We have to feed the sheep. We shouldn't let the, feed, the sheep feed us. We should be servant of the living God. We were called in the kingdom. We were called to break the things of darkness, to cast out the devils, to do greater things. Be a servant so that the power which Isaiah 61 says that the Spirit of God is upon me. I shall restore the sight of the blind. I shall make the lame walk. The blind see should operate upon your life. Be a servant of the living God. Be a servant of the living God. Whenever you sin, kneel down, pray to God so that God may forgive you. The criminal at the cross in Luke, uh, Luke 23, verse 42, he said, God, remember me, meaning from today I've become your servant. Remember me as you come as a king. Then Jesus said, today I'm going to be with you in paradise. Today I'm going to be with you. He didn't say today you are going to be in paradise with you, meaning in paradise where, where Jesus will be, even that criminal be, because he created a, a, the, the, the servant ship at the cross of Calvary. Be a servant. There was a Saturday, there was a young man, there was a lost son in the Bible in Luke, uh, uh, Luke 15, beginning from 11 to 20. The Bible says that uh, the young man got the shares from the father and went to the far countries and he spent his money in a useless way. Then when he, the money finished, he began to eat what the feed or what the pig could to eat. Then on 20, the Bible, on 15, 20, the Bible says that he realized that he made a mistake. He realized that he had a father. Then he said, in, he said to himself that I have to go back and say that I've seen before you, heaven and before you, father. And I'll tell my father that treat me like a servant. Meaning there's a power in a servant. Treat me like a servant. What I need is food. So you need to be a servant. Elisha was a servant to Elish. Elisha was a servant to Elijah. When he was going to heaven, he, he, 
he removed the mantle and gave it to Elisha. As he was returning, he realized that he was just a servant. Then he said, where is the God of Elijah? And they, they, they leave are divided. If you're not a servant, no matter what you can say, nothing can happen. Be a servant, my brother. Be a servant, my sister. Casting out demons shouldn't make you to be proud that you are a boss. We are all servants. It is just the mess of God. That's the reason why it says, not by power nor might, it is by the spirit of the living God. Be a servant. He told the disciples that go and make disciples of all the nation. Go and make the servant of me, not the bosses of all the nation. Wherever you may be, I pray that you should become a servant today. I pray that anything that has been obstructing you from being a servant, I cancel it from today. If you are David, you bring that Goliath down so that you may be a servant of Saul. When Saul dies, you are going to be the second king of Israel. God bless you wherever you may be.